Guys, today we're headed to Tom's River, New Jersey for a truly epic toy show. I found some amazing pops and got them at even better prices. Here we go. All right, everybody, it is 7.28 a.m. in the morning and we got a big day ahead of us. But first, we're kicking it off at one of the best places on earth, Wawa. All right, guys, so we are here in Tom's River, New Jersey for a toy show. I've never been to this toy show before, but I um, heard good things about it. So we're going to check it out and see if there's any good Funko Pops inside. Obviously looking for some higher end stuff, but you never know. These smaller shows, you just you never know. There could be people that whip out some really big stuff. Sometimes I've seen stuff um, you know, that people say is not for sale. They're just showing it off. but. Other times, people do bring some really rare stuff to these types of shows. Uh, there also should be action figures, Hot Wheels, probably some Lego sets. So I'm curious to see uh, what they got. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people in the parking lot. We did get here. It's only been 20 minutes since they opened, but um, yeah, we're gonna go inside. Hopefully you guys enjoy the hunt. All right, guys, so this is what you see when you first walk in. We do have a really nice open floor plan here, a lot of tables set up, so we're gonna be checking out as many as possible. Coming over to the first table full of pops here that I see, we have a Black Cauldron 2-pack right here, Grandpa Munster from the Universal, or excuse me, this is from the Munsters line from 2015. We also have a really cool Transformers pop right here. This is Autobot Drift from 2014. Check this out, we have Seth from Superbad from 2015, which is pretty cool. We have a pair of chases right here. Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. Look at this, guys. We have an original DC Batman here, and this is the metallic chase. And uh, this is a big grail right here from 2018. So that's pretty cool to see in person right there. Uh, let's see, we have a Blood Man and Chronic 2-pack that does have the con sticker, which is really cool. Uh, Vampire David from The Lost Boys. We also have Brian O'Connor from Fast and Furious. John Hammond from Jurassic Park. A Diamond Funko Shop exclusive Chester Cheetah. Diamond Freddie Mercury. Venomized Loki. A Chase Iron Sheik. Look at this. This is a big one right here for all you Pokemon collectors. We actually have... The Con Sticker Emerald City Comic Con Diamond Vaporeon. We have a Black Boba Fett right there, which is really cool. Con Sticker Red Hood. Chase Angela from the Gargoyles line. We have a Koye from New York Comic Con. This is the one where her hair actually comes off. So that's pretty cool to see coming around the table here. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is the hooded Darth Maul from 2019 Star Wars Celebration. We also have Chuck Norris, the green chrome Boba Fett. I have a James Bond, unmasked Captain Cold, Taika Waititi from the director's line. This is a 3,000 piece limited edition. We have Bella in her wedding dress. We also have Amber, or excuse me, Audrey, Aubrey from Pitch Perfect. Glow in the Dark Thor from 2018 San Diego Comic-Con. We also have a Chase John Wick. Ricky from I Love Lucy, AJ Styles. Uh, we also have Hillary Clinton. Those pops from the presidential line have gone up. We also have Luke Hobbs, Ash, another Okoye, a Chase, um, Gamer Batman here. This is the one where he's sitting. I actually really like those. And uh, overall, yeah, a lot of really cool ones. We also have a, um, a Glow Chase Beetlejuice. I'm gonna have to come back around so I can properly show those off. I didn't notice those right right away. Look at that. A Glow Chase Beetlejuice. We also have a 1500 piece Elvira. That's one's pretty cool where she's in the orange dress, as well as a Hot Top exclusive Glow Chase Elvira. So those are pretty awesome as well. But yeah, not a bad start for when you first walk in. All right, guys, so we're coming up to the first booth that I'm checking out here. And uh, we've only been here for a couple minutes and I think I'm already gonna go over budget, but I see we have a lot of Harry Potter pops to start off. We got Harry in the sorting hat right here. We got a couple of Ron Weasleys, Tina Goldstein. So for all you Harry Potter fans, you probably recognize pretty much all of the characters. We have Hermione Granger up here, Ginny Weasley, Lord Voldemort, Lu Luna Lovegood. And a lot of these are looking pretty old. Yeah, 2016 on a lot of these. Coming over here, we've got the masked Captain Marvel, 
We have a Mystique Rock Candy, which was a Marvel Collector Core exclusive. We also have the Action Pose Captain America from Captain America Civil War. That was a GameStop exclusive. We have the Comic Book Cable right there, which is pretty cool. New York Comic Con Kitty Pride. Then we have Iron Fist. This is the PX Previews, which is pretty cool. Then we have Ultron Crossbones, where his mast is actually damaged. Um, coming down here, we have a pair of Deathstrokes. One of them is metallic. Then right here, I have the Hula Minion. 2015 San Diego Comic-Con Gone Batty Minion. A lot of people are looking for the Minions because we obviously just got the new Minions movie recently. Um, coming over here, he's actually got a lot of awesome Marvel stuff. We have Loki from Thor Ragnarok as well as Thor where he's holding a shield, which is pretty cool. We even have some Sons of Anarchy Pops, which is something you don't see very often. And uh, these should be pretty old as well. Yeah, 2014. So pretty cool to see those in person. We also have Lady Civ, the uh, Captain America. This is the Bucky version of Captain America from 2017 San Diego Comic Con, which is really cool. Over here, we do have a couple Star Wars pops. We have the Imperial Death Trooper. We have Saw Gerrera from Rogue One. We're going to be seeing him in the in the Andor series not too shortly here. Then we have Kylo Ren and Quill from The Mandalorian. He also has some Marvel pops over here that I think are going to be coming home with me. So we have the Unmasked Captain America from 2015 San Diego Comic Con. But check this out, guys. We even have a Glow in the Dark She Hulk, which was a Comic Con the exclusive i believe this is from 2016 let's see here yeah 2016 on she hulk the glow is pretty awesome she's got a show coming up and i think the one i have isn't in as good condition so i think i'm gonna be grabbing that one we also have a blue stealth iron man this is a rhode island comic-con exclusive from 2014 and that's actually been one i've been trying to hunt down for a while down here we even have a world war ii captain america from 2017 emerald city comic-con u.s agent looking forward to seeing him in the thunderbolt movie and then we have purple pie man and berry bird from the strawberry shortcake line that is just a really unique one that you don't see very often so i'm not sure i might grab that one as well we'll have to have to see what we can do here all right guys so now we're coming down the line to another booth here and there's some really big stuff down there that we are going to get to and if you look around you can actually see there's a lot of different types of toy vendors we have some comic book um, you know, comic book people here. There's some action figures, vintage toys, um, but we're going to be focusing right here on this next line of pops. So check it out, guys. We have Finn, Cole, Cherie Khan, which was a New York Comic Con exclusive. We also have another Finn, Flocked Blue, which is really underrated. I have the Igor Elf right here. Let's see, I have Gus in Pajamas, which is Flocked from 2018 San Diego Comic Con. I can't say that I've ever seen this pop. It is really unique here. He's got this really interesting looking staff. I've never seen that before. We also have Audrey Horn from Twin Peaks. I have Flaky, Poe Dameron from Star Wars, Luke Skywalker. This is, of course, from the sequel trilogy. We have the Hot Topic Nerdette, Apprentice Mickey, where he's holding the buckets. Then I have Miss Featherstone, the Blue Box, Figrin Dan. Then we have the Snow Gear Han Solo, Red Snaggletooth. We also have the Barnes & Noble Finn right there. Um, the AT-AT driver, which I don't actually think I have anymore. Um, I don't know about this one. I might grab it. It's a Walgreens exclusive. Um, yeah, that one's going to be, he said, the, I just talked to the person who owns all these pops. He said they're only $5 for the Star Wars ones. So I might grab that one. That's a really good deal. Then we have Steve Irwin down here with the crocodile. Um, Elliot Mast from Mr. Robot. I'm not familiar with that character. Um, up here, we actually do have another blue box Star Wars one. This is Bib Fortuna, who we saw in uh, most recently in the end of the uh, Mandalorian season two. And that one's pretty old right there. We also have Alien Morty. Um, Emmy 809, let's see, Need Nub, another Han Solo, another Flaky. Um, right here we have an interesting one. We have Winston from Overwatch. This box is a very interesting size. Not, It's like a weird variant of a six inch box. Um, coming over here, I see Maz Kanata, Ellen DeGeneres, um, the Target Lady, the 5,000 piece Gil, George R.R. Martin. Um, let's see, Sally Stage Play from Cuphead. We also have Gamora down here from What If. I have Quill from The Mandalorian. Let's see, another Poe Dameron. I have Orm from the first Aquaman movie. Black Manta, this is the chrome one of him, silver chrome. Let's see, General Hux, Marvel Girl, Grief Karga, First Order Stormtrooper. Over here we have 
cat bug. This one looks like a interesting one. I'm not sure when this is from, but um, pretty cool. We also have Iron Man. This is, of course, the Blacklight one. Then we have Venom from Venom's movie. Let's see, Marty checking his watch, King Aragorn. So now, as you guys can see, the price is starting to go up. We're starting to get a little bit more higher in value. I have Finn Duchamp, Vincent, U.S. Agents. Right here, we have Sarah Sanderson from Hocus Pocus, the Halloween version of Vision, Star-Lord T'Challa, Carnage. Let's see. Um, we also have the Metallic FYE Vision from Avengers Age of Ultron. That one was going up last year a little bit when WandaVision first dropped. Then we have Carnage. I love this one because you can partially see Carnage taking over Cletus Cassidy, so I love that one. We also have the Funko Shop exclusive Iron Patriot. Bucky Barnes, which that seems like a really fair price for Bucky Barnes right there. Agatha Harkness, we do have her own show coming out pretty soon. I have Nick Fury, where he's fading away in Avengers Infinity War. That was from the end credits scene. I have President Loki, Party Thor from What If. Uh, 70s Vision right here. Baron Zemo, who we're probably going to be seeing in the Thunderbolts movie if I had to take a wager. Uh, we also have the um, retro C-3PO and then the Blacklight Captain America. Down here, we do have some interesting ones. I have a 6-inch Kong. I don't think I've seen that one in a while. We have Deadpool on Unicorn. The Basilisk from Harry Potter. Uh, let's see, Reinhardt from Overwatch and Alien Queen from Aliens. We also have the Hydra Stopper, which is an awesome six inch pop. We even have a two pack of Minnie and Mickey and um, Hot Ryu and Violent Ken. And uh, right here, we also have another six inch pop. This is Liberty Prime. And then look at this, guys. We have a $500 bunny suit Ralphie right here. And uh, this is limited to 480 pieces from Gemini Collectibles. That's crazy. Pretty crazy to see this one from 2013. So I'm gonna carefully put this one back. That is a beautiful pop. And uh, I know a lot of people typically look for that one. So pretty cool to see it at a small event like this. Uh, down here, we actually have one that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be taking home with me today. I have been looking for this one. This is Spider-Man in his Spider-Mobile Walgreens exclusive. I think that's just a really interesting Spider-Man variant. And um, we could be seeing, you know, Spider-Man in his Spider-Mobile maybe in the um, Across the Spider-Verse animated movie that's gonna be coming out. So I don't wanna sleep on that one because I think that's a really cool pop. We also have a glow in the dark Entertainment Earth exclusive Reptar from the Rugrats. Over here, I have Kratos from God of War. This is a big one. I have Yelena from the Black Widow movie. This one has always baffled me in terms of price. I never understood why this one is so much for being a common pop. I'm guessing a lot of retailers just didn't get their stock. And for that reason, the pop has just stayed as a grail. So um, pretty cool to see that one here as well. I also have Sharon Carter, Shang-Chi, Glow in the Dark Negatron. This is the Hot Topic Metallic Vision. This one was going up for a while and I believe it peaked and then it got restocked. Um, so now that's obviously coming back down to a more reasonable price. Then we have the GameStop exclusive Black Widow from Avengers Age of Ultron. I love this one because she's holding Captain America's shield. They did such a great job with that one. And then we have T'Chaka, of course, Black Panther's father. This was a Funko Hollywood exclusive. Uh, let's see, Maximilian, the artist series Raphael. We even have Hey Hey here from Moana. That's always a great one. Uh, let's see, we got Penny, Professor Quirrell. I missed this one. We have Batman. Uh, holding the San Diego Comic-Con bag. I absolutely love that one. And then we got a couple more 10-inch pops here. Um, let's see, I believe this is Nibbler? Niffler, excuse me. And then we have um, Scrooge McDuck on his pile of money. We have Tony the Tiger, Funko Shop exclusive. The life-size Groot, we are getting the I Am Groot animated series very soon. And then we got a trio of Disney Fire up here. So starting out right here, we have the 480-piece Metallic Merida from Brave. This is a beautiful pop. It does have some damage, so that's why it's priced accordingly. We also have an original Disney Store logo, Mad Hatter from 2012. So even at this small toy show, guys, we have some really rare stuff. We also have a original Disney Store logo, Buzz Lightyear from 2011. Man, 
these three pops definitely deserve to be in hard stack. So I'm um, not sure what we're going to pick up. I know I'm definitely going to grab that Spider-Mobile and uh, we're going to see what other booths we can find. All right, guys, so we're at the toy show and my man Brian just drove out to meet up with us. And uh, so we're doing a little hunting. Some of you guys might know Brian. Brian, you got to represent. What's your what's your color team chat? What, red. What, you're team in red. red. Team Red. Go Absolutely. Team Red. So Team Red is representing for today's vlog video. So he actually just picked up a really, really good pop. What'd you get? Got the Silver Surfer. OG Silver, Silver Surfer. Surfer for 20 bucks. It's a steal. Absolute steal. What year is that from? Like 2013? 2013. 2013 yeah. on the Silver Surfer there. He got a good deal. He's a big Marvel guy like myself. We're going to keep hunting, guys. So stay tuned. We got a lot of great stuff coming up. All right, guys, so coming up to the next booth, we spotted some really cool stuff. We got some cool Marvel and DC stuff that we're going to show off. So check this out, guys. We have one of my favorites, Agent Coulson from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. from 2014. This is the only way you can get Agent Coulson in your collection if you're an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. fan, with the exception, of course, of him and the Lola ride. But that is a really fair price for that one. Uh, we also have, we've seen this pop, I think, three or four times today. We have the Marvel Collector Core Thor right there from Thor. Ragnarok. Uh, we have a bunch of X-Men pops over here. Um, let's see, I have War Machine from Avengers Endgame. I also have Gamora and Drax. Those are the Christmas versions. Another Thor, Falcon. I have Red Hulk over here. Let's see, um, Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Professor X in his wheelchair. Um, let's see, some more Marvel Zombies pops. Oh, look at this one. Just hot off the, hot off the table here. We have Kyle Rayner, the White Lantern. Lantern Fugitive Toys exclusive from 2018. Pretty cool to see that one. We also have Punisher 2099, Beast, Marvel Girl, Captain Marvel. Let's see, I got a Glow Zombie Wolverine, um, Hawk Girl. That one's very underrated in my opinion. Oh, look at this Cyborg as Green Lantern from Teen Titans Go. I was actually considering trying to pick up this entire line uh joanna's gonna kill me today i've already spent way over budget uh, we also have the robot batman i have a con sticker zaytana i also have hawkman desaad uh coming over here i have kylo ren princess leia pair of leias we also have blue box r2d2 here 15 bucks 15 dollars here and this is from 2015 that's an immaculate condition from what i could tell um we also have some of the uh, my little pony pops let's see i got bazooka joe penelope pit stop captain crunch baba louie um let me see over there i got kevin keller dead mouse josie mccoy drummer mcnugget Phoebe in the Supergirl outfit from Friends. Coming over here, I have Leech from Masters of the Universe, Pirates of the Caribbean Dog, Dreamland Dumbo, Thun Thumper, Energizer Bunny, Christmas Mickey Mouse, Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. Oh, look, we have a Freddy here. We have the Virgo Freddy Funko. That's pretty cool. Another Penelope Pit Stop. Let's see, I also have Polly Pigeon from New York Comic Con, Daisy Duck. Uh, the raccoon, not a pop. <laughs> Don't know how that one snuck in there. Uh, Lissandra, Han Solo, Mosquito Door, or Mesquite Tour, uh, Webster, Bo Peep. Let's see, we got some WWE pops. Let's see, Triple H, The Rock, uh, Michael Corleone from The Godfather. I got Pam Beasley from The Office. Let's see, Raj Kudapali from Big Bang Theory. Uh, another one of the mini puffs. Let's see what else. Gossamer, which is a specialty series exclusive. A lot of cool stuff at this booth for sure. Oh, look at this. We have a Diamond Carmen San Diego, Huckleberry Hound. We also have Funko Shop exclusive Monster Jack Jack. I have a 10 inch giant glow in the dark Shenron from Dragon Ball Z. And there's actually a bunch of. Dragon Ball Z pops over here in this little display. Also have Boruto, Naruto, My Hero Academia, Powerpuff Girls. Let's see, it looks like there's some Minecraft. Um, over here, we have some Firefly pops. These are really old today. There's a lot of really old pops today at the toy show here from 2014 and 2015. Oh, we also have Jane Cobb, as well as Hoban 
wash burn. These are all super old. And it looks like some of these have some value, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, we also have Leela from the Futurama show. This one um, we had recently and it went very quickly. And then over here we have Tommy from Rugrats. Down here, we actually have another small display to show off for you guys really quick. So more cool stuff down here for sure. But, oh, look at this. We have the Punisher here from Daredevil. That one's a great one. Even though it's not the Chase, it's just the common Punisher. This one's really, really cool. So if you guys don't have this one, don't sleep on Punisher. We will be seeing him again very soon. All right, guys, so turning right around to the booth right here, there's also some really cool stuff on both these tables. So we're gonna check it out. Starting out with the OG Avengers Thor. Check it out. We got another pop, not even in a pop protector here from 2012. I would definitely switch one of these pop protectors and put it on Thor because he definitely deserves a pop protector. We also have the Marvel Collector Core Loki from Thor Ragnarok. I have the hooded Darth Maul. Um, let's see, I got Venomized Groot. Check this out, guys. We even have Kevin with the Up House, which is a beautiful pop town. Um, this one has been going up in value, and uh, a lot of up and hardcore Disney collectors have to have it in their collection. We also have a 10-inch Frankenberry. Where is the 10-inch Booberry, Funko? We never got the 10-inch Booberry yet. Uh, let's see, we got Watto from 2019. Star Wars Celebration, I got Jolly, Miss Scarlet. We also have the Frankenberry where he's holding the cereal bowl. We have Chuckles who uh, looks like he took a tumble here. Uh, we also have Bruce Lee. Um, I have Cole right here, the flocked Mr. Prickle Pants, R2-D2, the retro C-3PO, I have Susie from Stranger Things. Everybody's going nuts for Stranger Things right now. Um, the Funko Shop exclusive Buzz. Uh, let's see, the Count Chocula holding the cereal bowl. I also have Alexei, the Chase Fugitive Predator. Let's see, Kylo Ren, that's the Lights and Sounds one. Crack Shot, Eve. Booberry holding the cereal bowl. So you could get the whole set right here, which is pretty cool. Peter Pez, Vampire Krusty, Scorpion, Dustin. Uh, let's see, Taurus Dave. I don't think I've ever seen that one from 2017. All right, interesting. The Bushfire Heroes Pop Culture Exclusive, Unmasked, Black Panther, Sheriff Woody, Thor, the Glow Hulk right here, Chase Speed Racer, Auto Man from Target Con, Doctor Strange where he's floating, uh, Mr. Mint, let's see, oh, we even have a Yoda Spirits. Let's see what year this one's from, 2015, on the uh, Walgreens Yoda Spirit there. Um, we have the New York Comic Con, The Rock, Ham Burglar, Harva, America Cares Bear, Alien. Um, down here we have the Dragon from Shang Chi. Shang Chi, excuse me. We have Avengers Assemble Thor, Red Skull versus Captain America. I love that one. We also have Black Widow here from the Avengers Assemble set. Hulk from Avengers Endgame, Lord Lad, The Flash, Captain Marvel. Um, right here, it does look like we have a Diagon Alley modular Harry Potter set. We actually just picked this up a few days ago for Joanna's collection, so pretty cool to see some Lego sets here. We also have SpongeBob with Gary and the Pineapple House, a great pop town if you're a SpongeBob collector. And check this out, guys. We even have a Freddy Funko up here. This is Freddy Funko as Rick limited to only 6,000 pieces. If you guys saw my video the other day, we were talking about how the toxic Freddy Rick has been going up in value. So this one doesn't have a price. So I'm curious to see what they're asking for it. So we might have to check that one out in a couple minutes. But the booth has some more fire that we're gonna be checking out. So let's see, we got a trio of Pillsbury Doughboys. We have the Easter one, um, it looks like the Christmas one, as well as the Valentine's Day one. Check this out, we have Super Grover, wow, from the Sesame Street line. Might have to grab this one for Joanna's growing Sesame Street collection from 2015. 2015, so pretty cool to see that. I have a Chase Mr. McMahon over there. Um, the IG-88, let's see, this is super cute. Look at this Randy and Rob Christmas two pack right there. That's pretty cool in the same four inch box. Let's see, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Salty, Flocked, Winnie the Pooh. Let's see, the fun SpongeBob, Venomized uh, Mr. Fantastic. 
the Glow Chase Funshine Bear. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. We have a sealed Eddie Brock Blacklight T-shirt bundle, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see. We have Bullseye, the flocked version. A, another trio of Sour Patch Kids. We have the Blue Raspberry, Lemon, and Strawberry. All right. Let's see. Blood Sport, Porky Pig, Milt in the Toaster, which this one is my favorite at Icon Pop that they've ever made. Oh, and check it out. We have our friend Top Pops here in U2's form. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see that here. Uh, let's see, we have Plumpy, Zartan, Glow Worm, Venomize the Thing, Deadpool busting out of the cake, Heat Ray, Godzilla. Wow, look at this. We have the elf on a shelf. Wow, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen this one from 2013. I think I'm gonna be grabbing this one. 20 bucks, very good condition. Yeah, that one might be coming home with us. Uh, we also have the Snap, Crackle, and Pop three pack. Um, over here I have Hellboy, Big Boy, Little Wayne. Oh, look at this. Lucky the Leprechaun Funko Shop exclusive. My man Jonathan was looking for this one. The other day we did our Macari video and uh, we were trying to find that one for a decent price. I don't know, maybe I'll try to do some haggling. Uh, we also have a green chrome Yoda, Conor McGregor from the UFC line. That's pretty cool right there. Uh, let's see, oh, look at this one. Captain Apollo from Battlestar Galactica from 2015. I don't think I've ever seen that one either. Uh, we have the Rainbow Troll, Glow in the Dark, Mech Strike, Black Panther, Agatha Harkness, Where's Waldo? Glow in the Dark, Captain America from Avengers Endgame, and Chef Figment. So a lot of great stuff at this booth and uh, I think we're gonna be doing some damage. All right guys, so we just finished up grabbing all of our stuff and uh, we'll see you back home in the studio to see everything that we picked up. All right, so you guys saw all of the amazing vendors at this tiny hole in the wall toy show. When they have it again, I'm definitely gonna go back if I'm in the area. I wanna give a huge shout out to Brian for making the trip and meeting me in the middle. It was always, of course, a great time hanging out with him once again. And uh, it's always just a great time to hunt with a friend. It just kind of adds another extra good element to the overall experience. Now for the haul. I went a little bit over budget. I spent around $200, but guys, I got some crazy good deals as some of you guys saw. A lot of the vendors that I spoke to for a little while, you know, before and after I did some filming, a lot of people said they were just looking to get rid of some stuff from their collection that they no longer needed and uh, to raise some funds for house projects or family life stuff or just to go out and buy some other different types of pops that they wanted. So I got quite a few things here. I had to get a a bag to actually put everything in and this isn't even it so I do want to show this stuff off because we got some really really cool stuff so I'll start out with this guy we actually picked up the elf on the shelf pop which I thought was just super cute nonetheless and uh, he's actually from 2013 2013 here on the elf on the shelf and uh, right off the bat just a pop that you don't see very often. And uh, come Christmas time, I thought it'd be really funny if we put him, you know, in different places around the house, maybe hide him behind some Freddy's, I don't know, and then take some pictures or something and see if you guys can find the elf on the shelf. But that was the first pop. Unfortunately, he is a little ripped on the top, but that honestly didn't bother me because I ended up getting him for 10 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good price. All right, next pop we have, this one's actually for Joanna's collection. Couldn't pass up on it because she is currently hunting all of the Sesame Street Pops. And this is Super Grover, really cool one. And he is from 2015 in very, very good condition. So once again, couldn't pass him up. Had to grab him, of course, because, you know, Joanna's got collection needs as well. All right, so the next pop that I grabbed, he actually still has a little sticky note here. This is a big one and it is one of my personal favorites, best Captain America pop that they've ever made in my opinion. And this is the 2017 Emerald City Comic Con Captain America first Avenger from his first solo movie. I love this pop. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet because I already have this one in my collection. I just couldn't pass up the good deal from that one table, so. Yeah, like I said, at the moment, I don't know. Maybe I'll use him for trade or something, or maybe we'll make him a top hit in a mystery box. I'm not sure, but couldn't pass him up, especially in his amazing condition. The next pop I also had to grab 
just because you don't see a lot of them floating around and I feel like every time I talk to a Star Wars collector or Star Wars fan these days, they're always asking me, do you have any extra Rebels Pops? Well, I don't have a lot, but I do now have this one. This is the Star Wars Celebration Disguised Chopper, the beloved droid from the Rebels TV show, and of course part of the Ghost Crew. Just a truly incredible pop. I, I got it for a very good deal. And uh, like I said, just another one that I could not pass up. Maybe another one I can use for trade or something, or, or who knows. But I just I think it was like 30 bucks. I just couldn't pass them up. The next one is another one that I've actually wanted for my collection for a very long time. Actually, I have the, still have the sticky note on this one for this one as well. Um, and this is the Blue Stealth Iron Man. And this is a Rhode Island Comic-Con exclusive. I wish they would do more pops like this, where they actually make exclusives for smaller cons and smaller events outside of, you know, SDCC, Emerald City Comic Con, and NYCC. They do it sometimes, but not enough in my opinion. This pop is very hard to find from 2014. And uh, like I said, one I've been looking for for my personal collection for a long time and couldn't pass up the price. I believe I got this one for $40, which is just a really good deal in my opinion. So these toy shows, sometimes you never know if you meet the right people that are just looking to get some cash. Cash is always king. And uh, yeah, I brought definitely brought a lot of cash to this show. This pop right here is one that a lot of people are looking for. And um, so many people are looking for it. In fact, Brian, who was actually with me at the toy show, when I showed him that I found this one, um, I saw him eyeballing it. I offered it to him, and of course, he wouldn't take it because he's just that good of a friend and that good of a collector. So I'm gonna, I'm doing this, Brian. So I'm actually gonna be putting this in his Patreon box for the month, and um, he definitely deserves it. He's been supporting us here on Slap Shop Pops from the very beginning. And uh, she is, she's been trending upward in value because her show just debuted on Disney Plus. And this is the glow in the dark She-Hulk. And she is in immaculate condition. And I will say the glow on her is pretty awesome. So I will throw a glow picture up on the screen so you guys can check her out. But this one is going to be going to your collection, Brian, just as a thank you for being such a good friend and, uh, you know, always having my back and everything and supporting the channel. Uh, he actually sent me a screenshot of the first message, the first time we communicated with each other on Instagram, and uh, it was not long after we started the channel. So shout out to you, Brian. Thank you so much for your friendship and just everything that you've given to Slapshot Pops. The last pop that I picked up, this one I was so excited to find because I've actually been on the lookout for this one for a long time been wanting to get it from the Marvel Collection. It is a Spider-Man pop, and it's also a ride, and I absolutely cannot wait to take this one out of box because I believe it is out of box worthy. Check it out. We have the Walgreens exclusive Spider-Man in his Spider-Mobile, and um, I have a feeling we could be seeing the Spider-Mobile in the Across the Spider-Verse animated movie that's going to be coming out soon. I'm actually going to bust, bust this one out of the box right now because I want to check it out. They did a great job on this pop. Definitely hard to find in good condition. So I was pretty stoked when, uh, when I saw this one. So we're going to get the full effect here of Spidey. He's not that big, so he definitely doesn't take up a lot of space on the shelf, which is always a plus when it comes to displaying Funko Pops. But guys, check it out. Spider-Man in his Spider-Mobile. This is just super cool. And I even love on the back, on the license plate, it says Spidey with a New York license plate, which is very, very appropriate. So this is fantastic. Definitely going in the Marvel collection. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments section below, what did you think of the Tom's River Toy Show? And what did you guys think of my pickups today? I think we did pretty well. And uh, always exciting when you can find some deals on some great older and harder to find pops. So that's going to do it for today's hunt video, guys. Make sure to smash that subscribe button if you have not done so already. It is huge for the channel. It helps us out. And now we are officially on the road to 11. 
thousand subscribers so huge shout out to all the viewers patrons and amazing channel members out there you guys are awesome and you've been killing it with the support so with that being said don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all very soon